Hey, good evening, Rockstars. Welcome to the channel. Sorry I've been a little MIA lately. As most of you know, I'm liquidating a ton of my inventory. So we have spent our days packing and delivering uh, boxes uh, pretty much all day long. So not a lot of time for YouTube. But in the meantime, I want to talk to you guys about uh, last week's um, update from the USPS. Today is Monday, April 17th, by the way. So it was last week that the USPS announced their second price increase change of the year. So we're all used to the first price increase change uh, in January. It happens every year like clockwork right after the New Year's. Uh, but now the USPS is implementing a second price increase change. And I sort of hinted at this and warned everybody um, a couple months ago, maybe right at the beginning of the year. I actually have an inn at the post office, a very good inn. Uh, Dan Goodkind, he's been in it quite a few um, USPS uh, and eBay and reselling in general events and he gets all of the inside notices. He's been with them many, many years. So Dan is a really good source uh, that emails me probably every couple of weeks uh, with updates from the post office and I appreciate it, Dan. I know you watch the videos and so does Jen. So I uh, really appreciate your insights and your emails uh, about these updates. But here it is, uh, Ina Steiner also put it out on e-commerce bytes. Let's go over it. I'll try to screenshot and put it here. Um, earlier in the year, we got our normal increase, which was pretty much everything in January, right? So this one's going to come into effect for the second part of the year in July, July 9th to be exact. Write that down so you don't have to ask me later. Uh, the USPS will raise its rates. Again, I'm just screenshotting this from Ina Steiner at eCommerce Bytes. As always, I'll link her down below so you can go read this and click on the links for all the pricing changes. Uh, if approved, it would raise first class mail by 5.4% since it last raised the rates in January. Rates for media mail and library mail will rise by 7.4%, and money orders will increase by 15.7%, and post office box services will increase by 4.2%, which also affects me, and I know a lot of you uh, guys and girls who have PO boxes, so 4.2% rise in that. Because the USPS now raises rates twice a year, those percentages don't show the full impact of the rate changes. They are only a six month raise. You would actually have to add that together to get the total increase over a year, which is kind of terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. For example, the cost of a stamp will rise 4.8% from 63 cents to 66 cents. But last year, the post office raised the cost of a stamp from 58 cents to 60 cents on July 10th of 2022 meaning the new price is a 10% increase year over year. In July of 2023, it will cost nearly 14% more to mail a letter as it did in June of 2022. That's staggering, you guys. And I'll explain why a lot of this is going on in just a minute. It's not lost on marketplace sellers that a rise in shipping is also a rise on fees because sites like eBay and Etsy factor shipping costs into their selling fees. Absolutely right. The USPS is restricted in how much it can raise market dominant rates. That means the items that uh, they do the most of, which is first class and priority and other things, there is a limit to how much they can raise it. Um, the USPS noted when they filed with the PRC, which is the Postal Regulatory Commission, that first class mail is its highest revenue generating mail, accounting for $24.2 billion or 30.7%, almost a third of their entire $78.8 billion in revenue in fiscal year 2022. As it had last year, the USPS filed its July prices for market dominant services first. Look for the other shoe to drop next month when the USPS will announce higher rates for competitive services, which include priority mail and first class package. That's our normal package mail from first class. This is first class letter mail. We're talking about first class package mail, which will be renamed the USPS ground advantage on July 9th. We talked about this in my other video. They're combining uh, first class and parcel and one other one into one service called ground advantage. I'll link that video below if you missed it. Some of your packages first class will be cheaper. Some of them are going to be more expensive and actually significantly more expensive. We went over this in the last video, I believe it was in January. Again, I'll link it below along with the link to Ina's site. So the USPS 
because they're restricted in how much they can raise their rates with the market dominant rates, noted that in today's filing, which was last week, that the governors of the U.S. Postal Service used virtually all of the pricing authority available to it, meaning they have a cap. They can't go any higher than this each time they raise it. They're admitting they went pretty much to the cap. So they hammered us as much as the, the law, the rules would allow them to do, which is pretty staggering. So I actually, I'll pop another screenshot up again, the whole time during the video, I'll have screenshots of everything I'm talking about. And the link is below. You can always go check it out uh, along with all the other great links that I put down there. Uh, this was accepted on 4-10-2023 at uh, about 2 p.m. in the afternoon, 156. So just exactly last Monday, the market dominant price change from the Postal Regulatory um, Commission that they submitted uh, through their attorneys, uh, at Mike, uh, Michael I. Gross from Washington, D.C., and they do a table of contents, they do all this stuff, and then it just breaks down everything that they uh, noted here where they put uh, first-class mail. Here's the screenshot you guys probably want to see. First-class mail, 3.4%, USPS marketing mail, periodicals, package service, and special services, first-class mail, marketing, and then, of course, all of this is what was left that they didn't use, very, very little uh, a bit of that. So um, yeah, it's going to look like all of our packages twice a year raises now. I, it's painful to say the least. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the post office? Is it not enough to raise the prices on us once a year? Now they have to raise the prices twice a year. Whew, man, oh man. I, I got to tell you guys, customers that order online, if enough retailers start passing these prices along to them, online sales are going to take a dip because online sales customers are used to paying, you know, 20 bucks for a shirt and $4 to ship it for $24. Now it's going to be $27 or 26 or 28 or whatever it ends up being. And they're going to go, oh, you know, that's just a little too much, too much I can't afford or more than I want to spend or whatever. I, the post office, man, they're just, and I here's what I was mentioning earlier. For years and years, the post office let us ship packages, first class packages for $2.50, $3. Uh, hands up in the comments, who remembers the days of $2.50 to $3 first class shipping? I certainly do. I remember filling out my spreadsheets and my accounting with like $2.53, $2.58, right? So who remembers that in the comments? Um, and if you ship that same item through FedEx or UPS or DHL, it was like a six to $7 label. Like there was no first class option with UPS or, or FedEx, they had like base price, like the cheapest you could ship it uh, for a package was like five fifty six dollars seven dollars Well, now the USPS realized like, wow, we're giving away money. Uh, we can't charge seven, eight dollars, but we can charge five fifty. We can charge six because at the end of the day, if somebody has to ship a t-shirt, an eight ounce t-shirt or a 10 ounce t-shirt, uh, it's still going to be more expensive at UPS, still seven or eight bucks at UPS. Um, they're still going to come with us first class because we're still $2 cheaper. And people with a lot of volume, people that ship a lot of packages and spend a lot of money every year, uh, will definitely see it. The everyday customer might be, oh, okay, I'll spend $2 or $3 extra to use UPS because I feel better about it or this or that. But people like me, when you're shipping thousands of packages a year, two, three, four thousand 4,000 packages a year, first class, and you're saving two bucks or three bucks a piece, and you realize it's 10, 12, 15 grand, you're still going to go with the, the post office as much as I may not want to, or as much as I hate it, or as much as the, the hike really killed us. Uh, it's just the better option. It's still the better option. And thinking back to the days of $2.50 shipping first class and $3, we were spoiled. We really were spoiled. And that was like the get it while the getting is good. And now it's just a lot harder. You have to sell more profitable items where $2 doesn't really affect you. If you're selling items that you're making 10, 12, 15 dollars on it, uh, an extra two or three bucks can definitely hurt the bottom line, hurt the profit. And you just need to sell more volume. So I'm not saying don't do that. I'm just saying it's gonna take a lot more volume to do. And a lot of people, you know, are gonna have to factor in their profit, raise their price on their items, uh, you know, handling materials. You're just gonna have to make that extra 50 cents or a dollar, dollar fifty somewhere else. You're just gonna have to make it up or cut expenses or do something to offset this nonstop hammering. I wish I had a hammer in here that the post office is giving us. So um, we thought that they weren't going to survive. Well, the post office is, they're dead set on surviving by charging us more money.
I'll leave it to the comments. I'll leave it to you guys. I appreciate you watching. I'll have videos out for you all week. I promise I've been MIA, but hopefully uh, all the orders I have pending right now will be out by Tuesday, Wednesday, and I'll be able to get up four or five videos for you guys this week. Thanks as always for watching. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down below in that comment section, or you can email me rockstarflipper at gmail.com seven days a week. I answer all of my emails. Also, like I said, the link to this pricing news story is below and the link to my video about first class mail going away is below. Check those out along with all my other links, including my listing service where we, we create the listings for you. You give us the photos. We do the rest. eBay, Poshmark, and uh, list perfectly. We can create drafts inside of that listing service for you as well. Email me for more details and pricing and 10% off your first order along with 10% off anybody or 10% of their total order that anybody that you refer to our listing service, you get paid cash. So email me rockstarflipper at gmail.com for more info. And until next time, guys, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see everyone tomorrow.